Hello and welcome to the 20th anniversary of Automotive Logistics and Supply Chain Europe here in Bonn. I'm excited to be here with Jean-Christophe Deville, Head of Production and Vehicle Logistics of Toyota Motor Europe. Uh, Jean-Christophe has been speaking uh, throughout our event, talking about talent, leadership uh, and also addressing Finnish vehicle logistics and specifically capacity management constraints. Uh, and he's uh, taking the time just to share a few insights from uh, the sessions that he's uh, been part of so far. JC, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for the invitation, Richard. Thank you very Great much. to have you here. Uh, JC, so your role has recently expanded um, at the beginning of this year uh, to produ combine production control and vehicle logistics. Can you explain some of the thinking behind that strategy and, and what you expect to gain from that combination? Yeah, uh, that's a good question actually. I think the first one is uh, to keep me busy and motivated. Uh, on a serious note, I think that it brings three things to, to, the, to, the, to the business. The first one is most of the logistic partners we deal with are with us on the inbound and on the outbound. It makes a lot of sense for me to have the overall views in order to bring to the strategic discussions at least a one voice. Okay. The second is more internally to my teams, opening up the ability for best practice sharing between the inbound teams, the outbound teams, opening up career opportunities, also, so kind of kind of one team thinking, and uh, last but not least, towards our final customers and uh, the the, the, the um, people that are waiting for their cars, I think it makes a lot of sense to have the inbound and the outbound into the discussions of production planning, collection planning, vehicle planning. If I give you an example, if we are short of a components at some stage, and we have to replan our collections, replan our production, replan our vehicle distributions. We need to think cleverly what is a priority and not simply slide the, the, the production planning as is and do some priority based on what the final customers have been waiting for. And this is where my voice in the inbound can be important. Yeah, excellent. And uh, good to key, hear that you're keeping busy uh, <laughs> with a full, full agenda on, no doubt. Um, shortages in equipment and, uh, and labour contributing to the capacity crisis in, in Europe's vehicle logistics network. Um, is there enough confidence in the market to invest in equipment infrastructure uh, and what are you doing uh, as Toyota to instill this confidence? So I think the, the, uh, the obvious answer to your question is no, because I don't see the capacity coming at least at the pace we would like it to come. So what are we doing at uh, Toyota? We want to be the customer of choice and customer of choice means giving the best behaviors every day, pay the, uh, our bills on time, welcome the drivers, every day in our premises, make sure that the operations are running uh, smoothly and stably. But also very much offering the LP executives long-term perspectives, long-term contracts, long-term forecast, which they've asked very much about it. We're now sharing three years of forecast at root by root level. So this is the effort we're making ourselves for them to have confidence. And in return, my expectation on them is that they actually take this information to invest in people, invest in equipment, invest on the digitalization journey that we expect. So this is a, we feel like we're making the, the part of the uh, our homework. My expectation is that in return they do the same and they accelerate indeed these investments in people and equipment that we need. Yeah, so really redefining what the partnership looks like. Um, very interesting. And decarbonization uh, of the supply chain is a, a top priority mm. for Europe's car makers right now. Um, and, and moving forward it will be as well, of course. Um, how are Toyota reducing emissions and waste uh, across its vehicle logistics network specifically? Uh, very important questions today and of course tomorrow. For me there's kind of three challenges. The first one is how to measure, to know where we stand and, and what we're doing. And uh, this is not an easy exercise. So we are collaborating, we're doing much exercise internally, we're collaborating with the uh, external uh, stakeholders, the likes of ECG and so on, to set the right way of measurement. The second is to actually, what I would call, uh, grasp the, the low-hanging fruit. Maximizing the use of train, for example. So last year we've opened many, many legs on Finnish vehicle trains, it's a bumpy road. It's not as easy as we thought, but we keep growing and this is massively reducing the CO2. The third one is probably the most complicated is how to set the governance for once we've passed these low hanging fruits, have the right decisions mechanisms when it's going to be time to decide cost or CO2, how much cost or, or how much CO2. And this combined with the expectations on ALP to bring creative solutions, disruptive solutions, which uh, for now are not necessarily coming quick enough to, to, to do the discussions, I would say. Yeah, excellent, some great insights there. And um, last question for me, uh, in today's challenging environment, your partners and providers um, 
can and need to better support you. What do they do? What do they need to do to help Toyota realize its goals and and service your needs? So I think you've mentioned for us a very important concept is the one of partnership. I know a lot of people talk about partnership, but partnership is not only a nice idea, it's everyday behaviors, if I can say. As I said, uh, we bring our element to the table with long-term contract, long-term perspective, long-term forecast. In return, my expectation is that the LP actually come, challenge us back, propose disruptive solutions and so on, but engage more closely in, in, in a deeper uh, linkage between them and ourselves. That's very much my expectations. And we go beyond the one week or two weeks. We're talking 20, 25, 20, 30 together because that's where we're going to find the solutions together. That's very much my expectation on them. Yeah, excellent. Thank you so much. And that's it for now for this short interview. But uh, JC, thank you so thank much you. for your time. Thank you for joining us. And uh, enjoy the rest of the show. And uh, same to you. Signing out from Bonn.